Hey guys, look what I have here. This is the X-Real Air 2 Pro Smart Glasses. And this is really nice. Um, you can do like everything what you can do with the smartphone, augmented reality, you can play games, you can watch movies, you can work. Yeah, and this is really light. And together with the optional Beam Pro device, you can do everything what you can do with a Google smartphone. This is really nice. I will show you a full review about these glasses. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo TV VR. Thank you to my sponsors, Voodoo's VR, Oppermann Events, Virtual Escape and Virtual Race Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, let's do a short unboxing. This is the Beam Pro, this is the device that, uh, yeah, I would say processes everything from the glasses. Beam Pro, uh, X4000, 128 GB Wi-Fi. Let's open it. Look at this, it looks like a smartphone, right? We get it out here, it looks like a smartphone. <laughs> uh, we have a power button, volume button and so on. I think it's a camera button. Then here we have spatial view cameras. Here this USB-C goes to the glasses, this goes to power. And here's the SD card slot. And we also have uh, some stuff here inside, like this is the pin to remove the SD card slot and of course the user guide and the safety guide. That's pretty cool, right? So let's get the um, other part. This is the Air 2 Pro glasses. Look at the cool uh, case here. That looks really good. And here it says uh, AR glasses X1003. So let's open it. Look at the beautiful case here. Look how cool that looks. I love it. <laughs> and here we have uh, like the prescription. Um, yeah, uh, I would say clips that you can uh, customize. And then here we have different nose parts. So with the attached one is normal. This is small. This is large. That's cool, right? Then here we have a cleaning cloth, we have a, sh a quick setup guide, yeah, and a safety and warranty guide as well. That's nice. And of course, here are the glasses. Look at the cool case, that looks beautiful, right? Wow, we have a USB-C cable here that goes to the smartphone or the Beam Pro. And here, this case is really cool. Um, here's the glasses. How cool is that? Wow. So let's open it and check from the top. We have the sound slots here, as you can see. And then here we have the USB-C charging port and power. And um, here's the power button. I think this is a volume button. Also the sound slots. Yeah. And here you can attach the prescription clip. Then uh, you can remove the nose clip. Here's the proximity sensor. And of course you can remove the cover and then see the beautiful glasses here. Look at this. Really nice, yeah? So I would say, let's check out what we can do with it. Okay guys, the X-Real Air 2 Pro. Here it is. And uh, I want to, I, I tried a lot of stuff with that. I want to uh, show you what I experienced, what I did, how I like it and, and so on, who I recommend it for. So uh, the first thing you unbox that, you've seen that, and then you will install some stuff here on the Beam Pro. Yeah, and um, then you can, start. It's really easy. You have to update the firmware, do some updates of some apps and so on. And then you can start it right now. And you can e do everything what you can do with the Android device. So this is, it is a smartphone, I would say. It's smartphone light. It's missing some features like the a SIM card or so, but you can do everything like with an Android phone. The comfort is pretty nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks really good as well. It's uh, light. It uh, comes with three different uh, nose pieces and the weight is 78 grams. So this is very, very light. You can use it for hours. Yeah, absolutely no problem. It's very light. And the display of these glasses are really good. Yeah, we have micro OLED displays, which are really good for watching movies and so on. We have a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which is not so high, but due to the small display, it's fine. We have 120 Hertz. This is really good. And here is a small button. Um, beneath the volume control, this button, you can have like three dim levels. So on the lowest level you see your environment and on the highest level you everything is black. You also have to cover for the front to make it even more black. So the field of view I uh, is 
with every augmented reality glasses it's small. For this one it's 46 degrees which is not, uh, from the values it's not high but it's hard to explain uh, how, what I see but uh, when I when you show it like I see like this area here yeah this is what I see and it's bigger than I thought it's for an augmented reality glasses it's really really big it's it's absolutely fine yeah the performance with the Beam Pro is absolutely no problem. I never had any problems. It uh, runs good, it starts fast and so on. Also when you connect it to your smartphone, then of course it depends on your smartphone, but, but with my Google Pixel I didn't have any problems. How do you control everything, the user interface? So, um, this device here is your pointer, is your controller. So you have something like a laser pointer and you can control it with uh, this device here. You, you just point it and then you have this x Real app and here you can swipe and push the button uh, so you can uh, yeah, uh, select something. And that works pretty good I would say. Um, sometimes it's a little bit off the tracking uh, so the laser pointer gets, doesn't go straight it goes a little bit to another side and then you just hold this button to recenter yeah and you also have a uh, where is it uh, oh <laughs> my god it's here <laughs> the red button hold the red button and then your view is centered again yeah that's also good the tracking of the glasses is only three degrees of freedom so the glasses has no idea if it's here 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 or here it only has three degrees of freedom so it can only be tracked on spot yeah but that's absolutely fine um, for uh, that what uh, you should do with the headset. There's also another edition, the X-Real Air 2 Ultra. This has cameras, this has six degrees of freedom. So what can you do with, with, the, with these glasses? The thing is, you can, do, you can install every app from the Google Play Store. Yeah? As I said, it's just like a real smartphone. You can play every game. Just if you want uh, to play Stardew Valley, install it and then play it on a huge screen. Yeah, it's really nice. You can also connect controllers and, and mouse and keyboard and so on. It's really, really nice. So you can do everything, install every app, also working apps and whatever apps. Yeah, it's absolutely no problem. Then, um, there are some augmented reality apps that are specially made for these glasses, but they are not many, not many and only very small experience. You will not play it longer than half an um, hour or so. It, it's just for showing something off, but uh, don't buy it for the augmented reality games. Don't do that. It's for other cases, yeah? Then uh, at the Beam Pro device, you have the two cameras. You can uh, open the uh, camera app and then you can take spatial photos and videos. Then you can watch it uh, directly on the glasses or you can copy it uh, because there is a USB-C. You can copy it to another device and then watch it there in 3D. That's really nice, right? Talking about battery life. The battery life depends extremely on what you do, of course. Yeah? If you play like uh, high-end games all the time, then uh, it runs down very fast, of course, in one or two hours or so. If you just uh, watch a little bit stuff and nothing that needs a lot of performance, then of course more with the Beam Pro. And with your uh, personal smartphone, it of course it depends on your smartphone. Because here is no battery. Yeah? If I uh, pull the cable then it switches off instantly there's no battery in the glasses itself yeah but if you, there is another usb c charger if you connect a usb charger at the same time than the glasses you can use it unlimited or even a power bank if you are not at home that's cool so for example if you lie in your bed and then you connect it and you can watch like a 10 hours movie <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool for the connectivity of course, yeah, we have uh, we can connect the Beam Pro via this here yeah, USB C here, and then uh, it works. But you can also use the USB C, like uh, let me switch that, uh, pull that off. And this is my normal smartphone. Uh, this is the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, a very new smartphone. Uh, so then I just uh, give me a second. I just push it in here. And then it says, uh, want to mirror that and then push uh, the button and then you see everything what you see on your smartphone and you can hold it like this and then you can watch movies or do anything 
Uh, this, it's just a mirror of your smartphone then. Yeah, and that works pretty good. You can also watch movies and YouTube and everything that you can do with your smartphone. Yeah, that's pretty good. And it's very easy. You don't have to install something. It worked pretty good. And you can also connect uh, this to your PC, then you see uh, the screen mirror as well, or to a Steam Deck. I don't have a Steam Deck, so I couldn't try it, but it should be the same. Just mirror the Steam Deck, yeah? It's just mirroring. When you use this one, it's not only mirroring. You have the AR space, so the special app uh, where you have this environment, where you can uh, have the three degrees of freedom and so on. It's a little bit different. So with this uh, Beam Pro, it's the best experience, of course. It's not only mirroring, it's a real environment, I would say. So with the Beam Pro, with the Beam Pro, you can uh, install everything. You can also install YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime. You can play Xbox Cloud, yeah, with the Xbox controller as well, and everything from the Google Play Store. So you can do everything with that. Talking about watching movies, which is very important with those glasses, and they look really good. Yeah, I watched some movies. Um, then of course you you need to switch the dimming to maximum that you should not see everything else. And then it looks so good. Very good colors, a pretty huge display. It's a huge, uh, like you sitting in a cinema, it's very huge, it's not small. You can also uh, change the size of the um, uh, movie that you see and it looks very good. The sound is also pretty good that comes here. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine. And the cool thing is, here on the back of my head, there is nothing, so I can lie down and center the view to the ceiling and then I can watch a movie in my bed. Yeah, that's really cool. So watching movies is very, very good with this device. So you can also work with it. That's also possible. So just install like a Google Sheet or Google Docs or Word, Microsoft Word or so and then you can connect uh, mouse and keyboard via Bluetooth to the Beam Pro uh, and then you can work with it. But in my opinion, that's not the best thing to do. It works, you can also use it for hours because it's comfortable, but for like huge sheets or Excel sheets or huge documents, the, the field of view is just too small. So it's cut uh, up uh, in the upper and lower part. It's not so good. You can do it, but I would not really recommend it. Yeah, that's it. So who should buy this device? It's, for me, it's very clear. Two cases, casual gaming and watching movies. Yeah? So we can play the whole Google Play Store, you can play Xbox Cloud and so on. And yeah, I mean, we all know in the Google Play Store are like 99% casual games. You can play them all on the, on the glasses. It's a huge screen, it works very good. You can control it here. You can connect a gamepad or whatever. You can also con uh, control it with your smartphone. And that's really good. And of course, watching movies. It's a very good device for watching movies. Very comfortable. It's no problem to watch like four hours movies with that. Uh, absolutely insane. And um, the price, um, it depends. Uh, at the time I record this video, we have the Black Friday week, so the price changes all the time. The, the standard price is like 515 euro. Yeah, I think 550 dollars or something like that, I don't know. Um, it's pretty expensive, especially when you compare it to the MetaQuest 3S, which is only 300 bucks. And you can do much more with the Quest 3S. You even have control, you can do mixed reality, virtual reality, watching movies and so on. But the thing is, this one here is much lighter, much more comfortable. And of course, it has micro OLED display, which is very, very good, much better to watch movies than with any of the VR headsets. Yeah, So it depends on you. Um, perhaps you ask me the question, I tried the Rocket Max AR headset, which is, I think it's a little bit cheaper. And to be honest, this one is better. It has a better display and also th this one is easier to set up, easier to handle, better user interface. Uh, it's a little bit better, but still the Rocket Max is also very good. But this one is a little bit better, I would say. Yeah, as I said in the description, you will find the link also in the first pinned comment. I really hope you liked the video. If you also have these glasses, let me know what you think about it and give me 
also a thumbs up, subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de